think they're finally used to it in our place. <laughs> Green cosplay. I bet. Outside 1709 Broderick Street in San Francisco. This is the house used in the TV show Full House. Well, the front of it. One yeah. of Shan Chan's favorites. The establishing and, uh, shot. We showed up to uh, take some photos and video of the place. We got some and over there. We got <laughs> the these thing. people that just showed up about 30 seconds there? after we did. Yep. And right then here, these right people here. showed up about 30 <laughs> seconds after they did. I did not realize this is a thing. But uh, it kind of reminds me of the Goonies house when we were out there and people just kept coming and coming and coming and taking photos and video and it's, it's crazy. I didn't realize the show meant that much to so many people. But yeah, yeah. Shan Chan's pretty darned excited. Oh, super. We have to do a selfie. Yes, we'll get a selfie in front of the house. Or since there's so many people here, we can just take turns taking photos so of each people? other. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Didn't you say there were side yards on the house? Because yes. it looks like those have been blocked off. Yes, in the show, they have a side yard, an actual bit. Take, see the space between the two houses? Times that by like six and that's their side mm -hmm. yard. <laughs> Do you guys want to, um, us to take a picture of all of you or anything? For you? Yeah, if you can. Yeah. yeah. As soon as I'm done with, the, with some video. Yeah, this is insane. Um, this guy just pulled up, and I think he's here for the house also. Pretty cool. Anyway, Shan Chan's gonna want some photos, so let me get on that. Okay, so we're here at Alamo Square Park in San Francisco. Apparently this park was used as part of the opening for the Full House intro. So we're going to see if we can find the spots where they're playing in the park. In the meantime, I want to get this really, really incredible view that we're seeing here. And while we're here, this area right here might actually be one of the locations. Where they're running down the hill. Where they're running down the hill. Uh, kicking a soccer ball or something like that, I think. But that could very easily have been shot right here. You've got a nice, wide open field. So, that's my immediate guess. But we haven't looked at the whole park yet, so we'll see what we can find. Okay, another corner of the park. Don't think this is it because we don't have enough open space unless some trees have been planted since then. But I'm still kind of thinking it was the other side. I don't know why all these trees are here because if they cut them down, you'd have a beautiful view of the city on this side too, but it is what it is. So we got this over here. Boy, that's a great shot right there, ain't it? And Shan Chan's thinking it might be this field over here. So we're gonna check that next. We haven't been able to find a picnic table that matches yet. And all the trees seem to be towards the middle of the park. So we're gonna look a little bit more. Okay, corner number three. There's a really cool building on the corner here that looks like the Haunted Mansion. We drove by it, but I'm not going to be able to get a good shot of it from here, so that kind of stinks. But, that being said, 
This is a nice wide open field <laughs> where it looks like that scene could have been shot at as Shan Chan is aptly demonstrating. <laughs> Yeah, this looks right, and I mean, it could have been done from this angle, or from this angle, with all the trees in the background. This looks pretty close to what you see in the opening right here. And then you just lower the camera like they did in the shot, and you got that. So, there's a good chance it could have been filmed right here. It's a high school? So we could not find the picnic tables. These, this seems to be the only area in the park that even has picnic tables. And all of them are way too new looking. So I'm thinking that the picnic tables were in amongst these trees. Because these are the tallest trees in the park and you can see them in the backdrop of uh, the shot in the opening. So I'm guessing they were back there where that steel shipping container is or somewhere in that area. And the pathway that they're going in and out on the squiggly pathway on the bikes and stuff, that could have been through here too. It very well could have changed. been, yep. But you know, trees change. Yeah. And These trees change. are 30 years older, so they're, yeah. you know, all way bigger than they were back then. But uh, 30 years, honey. Shan Shan's pretty confident it's the hill on the opposite side over there, corner number two. I think so, because when you look at it, you have the hill, and then the trees, like over here, on this side, the trees are on this side when you're looking up the hill. So I just think, I think it's your side. That's yep. just my opinion, but I could be wrong. I'll admit that I have nope. no idea for sure. The so. internet says this is the correct part, so it probably is. It's just changed quite a bit over 30 years, but boy, is it pretty. I mean, oh, look yeah. at that right there. Well, if we went Pretty over there, you view. can see even more. It keeps going that way. Yep, there's another one over here. Yeah, look at that. So we'll just kind of go out to where these picnic tables are. Bless you. Now, there are some trees here, but I don't think uh, it shows the city in the background. No. In that shot, which leads me to believe that uh, my first assumption is actually correct. Man. But this is a pretty incredible is, city. Oh. Everyone keeps telling us that there's a lot of scum and crime and stuff going on here, but the we have is. not been to like the main downtown area. All we've seen are the outskirts. We've hardly seen any homeless people. Just like when we visited uh, Vancouver for the first, the first time. time yeah. We're seeing all sorts of incredible architecture. Gorgeous views. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to uh to like in this city. Oh, we will definitely be back. Yes.